Hello and welcome to our today's lesson. In this lesson, I'm going to work on a question in which we have to multiply a three digit number by a one digit number. And this question is aimed to check your critical thinking, which says, think like a mathematician. And this question is on page 71 of Cambridge Primary Mathematics Learner's Book 4. And here we are going to find a problem that requires critical thinking. So the question here says a three digit number is multiplied by three. There are five different missing digits in the calculations. It can be one, two, six, seven, and eight. So there are some clues also given and it says use the clues to help you do the calculation or complete the calculation. The first one says the sum of the digits of the three digit number is 24, is 24. The second one says the digits and the three digit number are consecutive numbers, but they are not written in order. They are not written in order. The answer is between 2000 and 3000. And again, it says you will show your specializing when you find the solution to the problem. Because it says the numbers are consecutive numbers. So one of the numbers in the three digit number is given and that's nine. So the other two numbers can be seven and eight because we are having the numbers which are around nine and they are seven and eight. Let's see if they add up to 24 or not. So seven plus eight plus nine. Seven plus eight is 15 and 15 plus nine is 24. So one of the circumstances is fulfilled. But here we have to find out where we have to write one, where we have to write two, and where we have to write six. Now we will first place seven here and eight here. And let's see if it gives us the correct answer or not. It may fulfill the requirement that says the answer is between 2000 and 3000, but we have to have two, one and six in our answer. So three times eight is 24 because we have to multiply from the ones place. So three times eight, 24, four of 24 we write here and carry two above the tens place. 3 times 9 is 27, 27 plus 2 is 29, so 9 is already written here. 3 times 7 is 21, and 21 plus 2, which is carried here, is 23. 23. Do we have the digits 1, 2, and 6 here? We do not have. So let's now try the other one. We write 8, 9, 7 times 3. Let's see if it gives us the answer or not. The first one is correct because seven plus eight plus nine is 24 and it does not matter where we place eight and seven. So now three times seven is 21. 21, one we write here and carry two above the tens place. Three times nine is 27, 27 plus two is 29 and three times eight is 24. 24 plus 2, which is carried here, is 26. 26. Now the answer is correct. Why? Because we have 1 here, 6 here, and 2 here. And the answer is between 2000 and 3000. So this is the correct answer. I hope it helps you learn how to think critically and how to find the answer based on the given hints. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel, like the video and share the video to your friends, your classmates and your students if you're a teacher. And if you have any other questions, you can ask me in the comment section under this video. Have a nice time and thank you so much.